First tonight, there are now 71 cases of COVID-19, including 14 deaths at the Brighton Gardens long-term care facility. It's in Prairie Village. On new at 10, I-Team's Andy Alcock reveals how the Johnson County Health Department is now intervening in a situation the agency describes as critical. More than a dozen people have now died at Brighton Gardens at 71st and Mission in Prairie Village. Officials with Johnson County Health and Environment have had enough. In response to 41 Action News questions, a department spokeswoman wrote, due to the apparent inability of Brighton Gardens to sufficiently and effectively control and manage the situation, immediate action is required by its national owner to avoid further spread. The response goes on to say the department director told the owners of Brighton Gardens Monday to immediately implement an improvement plan he has directed. If they fail to do it, the county's health officer has authority to compel compliance. Brighton Gardens is owned by Sunrise Senior Living, headquartered in Virginia. That company is 325 facilities across the country. Despite that fact, the health department has delivered cases of PPE to Brighton Gardens and sourced gowns which are expected to arrive soon. Additionally, the CDC, the Kansas Department of Aging and Disability Services, and the Johnson County Health Department have conducted announced and unannounced visits to Brighton Gardens to meet with local management and discuss strict guidelines for stopping the spread of the virus. The health department is also conducting continuous testing at the facility and will continue Continue to do it until it's deemed unnecessary. In a statement released Monday from Sunrise Regional Vice President of Operations Denise Falco, it reads in part, our heart goes out to every family that has been impacted by this pandemic. We recognize that COVID-19 has presented both our families and our community with significant challenges. The statement goes on to say the Brighton Gardens community now has sufficient PPE supplies. It also says the facility is following CDC guidelines to screen staff members before each shift. I'm investigator Andy Alcock, 41 Action News.